Hey everyone, it's Luke from Jettle here. Today we're going to be running you through the key focus areas for human resources management within business studies. But before we begin, please make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our new content. So the fundamental role of human resources management is to manage the relationship between employee and employer because that's going to lead to greater productivity, it's going to lead to reduced conflict, it's going to lead to reduced accidents, it's going to improve all those key indicators of human resources. So this involves reducing conflict, it might be through a reward system which helps to motivate and retain skilled employees. It might be about Cost efficiency, how can we reduce costs? We do that through reducing accidents. We do that through reducing conflict and court costs which might come from arbitration processes. All of these key parts form that greater employee-employer relationship which HRM aims to appropriately and effectively manage. Another very important aspect is the relationship between processes and strategies. What you'll find is that every strategy falls within a specific process. For example, the recruitment strategy. It falls within the acquisition process. And what you can do with that information is, when you're preparing for your extended response, you can reuse an acquisition case study within recruitment, or you can reuse a recruitment case study within acquisition. That's gonna help with your efficiency of study. It's gonna reduce the amount of information you need to remember. And it just makes that approach and preparation for the exam that little bit easier to manage. And it helps you understand how the strategies and the different pieces of human resources management fit within its broader scheme. You can understand how training is so useful towards the development of employees. You can understand how rewards are so useful to motivate employees and that fits within the maintenance process. Just these little tips are gonna help you visualize what is probably the most difficult section of the business syllabus. It's really important to understand the specifics and the really niche details of human resources management because these are so prevalent between multiple choice and short answers. Things like the legal influences, different pieces of legislation such as the Work Health and Safety Act, the Fair Work Act, what implications do these have on human resources management? These are really common multiple choice and it's going to ask you for a really specific detail which is a mark you don't want to lose because through simple revision you're going to be able to easily pick up those marks. Same with workers' compensation, all these specific details and definitions are really important to maximizing your multiple choice score, which is so crucial to getting that band six. A very important theme within the extended response and business report sections of human resources management are the relationship between strategies and effectiveness indicators. Almost every question is gonna ask you how we can measure the effectiveness of strategies through these indicators. So it's really important that you understand the relationship between them and which indicators fit with each strategy. Understand how accidents might fit with training and development and it's a measure of how effective training and development is or understand how staff retention and rates of staff turnover are a direct measurement of how well we might reward employees or, or how well we might train employees or provide them with opportunities. These indicators are crucial towards measuring the importance of strategies and thus they're everywhere throughout these extended response sections so it's really important to plan and associate the two, so that you know if you get a question on this, which you likely will between either your trial and your HSC, you know which two you can pair up and how you would make that connection. So here we have a multiple choice question, which links to what I was speaking about earlier with the definition related to human resources management. So if you wanna try that out, pause the video and then come back to it with your answer. Okay, so here we go. The question is, the Fair Work Act 2009 created a safety net of basic entitlements to protect all employees. What name is given to this set of entitlements? Okay, it's not an award because that regulates contracts and that regulates different industries. Okay, it's not an enterprise agreement because that's simply an agreement between an employer and a group of employees and it's related to only one business. It's not related to the broader population. It's not the fair work minimum standards because that's not an actual detail within human resource management. That's a key distractor here because it's D, the National Employment Standards. They put C in there because it's a slight change in the wording and they try to catch you out there. So I imagine a lot of people would have had their answer between C or D. And that's why I was speaking about earlier, knowing the specific details, knowing the names of legislation. It's very prevalent within multiple choice and it's crucial to maximizing those marks. And lastly, we have a short answer question here regarding effectiveness indicators and strategies, the relationship we were just mentioning. So. The question is, outline the use of one effectiveness indicator to measure the use of rewards 
within human resource management and it's three marks. So first of all, we answer the question in our first sentence. Analyzing staff turnover rates, which is an effectiveness indicator, allows management to assess its staff retention capabilities, highlighting the effectiveness of rewards in the process of motivating and retaining skilled employees. So there, we not only answered the question, we talked about what rewards does and how that's related to our effectiveness indicator. Now we go into our next sentence where we explain this process of staff turnover rates. By comparing the staff turnover figures to industry averages, human resource management can gauge the competitiveness of its reward system. Whilst comparing internal figures across different periods allows management to assess how strategic changes have affected performance. So there we've offered two different forms of staff turnover rate analysis. You can either compare to industry averages to assess how competitive the business is in relation to its broader industry, or we can compare staff turnover rates to our own business. How we went in 2019 compared to how we went in 2020. This shows whether the strategies we've implemented, the changes we've made are effective, whether they're ineffective, whether we need further changes. And lastly, as staff turnover is typically indicative of worker satisfaction within an organization, management can use this analysis to implement changes to their HRM processes, improving their employee and employer relationship. So there, we finish with that overall role of human resources management. And it's really important that you always come back to that. You always have that focus in your mind whether you're answering a short answer, an extended response, or a business report, and you have that key role in mind, and how are these strategies that I'm implementing, how are they leading to this key role, the achievement of this key role? Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to check out our most comprehensive resources, make sure to look at general.com, and we'll see you in the next video.